It's red leaf season in Japan, and the landscape is ablaze with the most beautiful autumn colors. This time of year is popular with tourists, but I won't be joining the crowds in the usual places. I'm heading to lesser known corners of Japan to see how different communities are living sustainably with nature. In the Nagara River Basin, life flows gently. For generations, locals in this central region of Japan have been living by the principle of Satoyama, or harmony with nature. The river takes care of them, sustaining life and livelihood, and they take care of it in return. <laughs> One of the most striking examples of Satoyama is Gifu's fishing tradition. Each season, fishing methods are adapted to the Ayu sweetfish's mating patterns. Most Ayu caught in autumn are sent to hatcheries upriver to maintain the population the following year. The remaining fish are sold to local restaurants and shared with friends and family. The Nagara River sustains this region in more ways than one. Its crystal clear waters irrigate crops like rice and vegetables, making them particularly flavorful. An abundance in medicinal herbs has also given rise to the region's yakuzen, or medicinal cuisine. The variety of dishes was astounding. From what the chef called skin beauty hot pot, to the region's famous Hida beef, which is among Japan's finest. My next stop is Kinosaki Onsen. A two and a half hour drive from Kyoto, the town of seven mystic hot springs, or Onsen, is steeped in legend. It's believed the natural hot springs are a gift from the heavens, with the power to heal. Spirituality still surrounds the Onsen. Before taking a dip, I give thanks at the Buddhist temple on the hilltop. Others do the same at the Shinto shrine in town. I want to get the full Ryokan experience, so I'm heading to Yamamotoya Inn. It's been operating for 350 years. The inn is run by the Takamiya couple. Historically, women have been in charge of daily operations one of the oldest leadership roles they've held in Japan. Strolling around in this yukata with everyone else dressed the same makes me feel like I'm in some sort of fairy tale. In Japanese, it's called sozoro aruki, which means walking at a leisurely pace with no particular destination in mind. The journey is the destination here. Ah, okay. Bye, oh. But the onsen is the real treat. The traditional ryokan experience consists of three baths, one before dinner, one after dinner, and one in the morning before departing. Here, you're really forced to slow down and take care of your body and your mind. If I've learned anything from locals in Kinosaki and Gifu, is that it's a gift to be able to slow down and just enjoy the natural beauty. <laughs> <laughs>